Are we live yet? So this is a project for David. He is going to use a bunch of shipping containers, uh, about 200 of them. No, I'm sorry. That's how many corner brackets I need. <laughs> 54 times, 54 times three. What is that? That's 150, 162 com containers, which seems like it would be expensive to me, but I am just a drafts person doing a job, so I'm not gonna get into the economics of this when I have no clue about them. All right, so I'm gonna put myself a little thing there just to find the corner, and I'm gonna put this channel. I found this, well, I didn't find this channel. I made this channel because I couldn't find the one exactly I wanted. We're gonna, we're gonna come up with a steel framing system here, and I'm doing the channel that I think is gonna be needed to carry the, these two load, these this rafter load, this roof load, and then what I'm going to do is get an engineer to help me uh, size these. And but it's kind of a chicken and egg thing. I gotta have something to show the engineer as far as you know what they're being used for. So it's just one of those things. You gotta draw something as close as you can, and then send it to them and hope for the best. But what I'm going to do is. The other thing that's interesting about this is we're going to come up with our own brackets on how to um, lock these things. You can see my bracket locks in to the shipping container. And how we did this is we did some research on, let's go back to our camera here. These things, David actually bought these and shipped them to me. These are used for locking the or mounting the containers down to a concrete pad they would go in this orientation this twist locks you put this in the hole of the shipping container corner casting and you turn it and it locks into place okay and then i show on all the drawings that i have ever done on shipping containers i show a similar l bracket it's not this heavy because I don't think it really needs to be. This is like 3 8 steel, minor quarter inch, but it's basically the same concept. It has a hole that you bolt it down to the concrete. The other thing that David, well, actually, this is the one I bought, but I ordered this thing. <laughs> this is the twist lock that you can stick, if I can get it, stick in the container casting block. And turn that and it locks it into place and so the magic of both of these is the shape of this piece right here the length and the width of it and how it locks in so we're we're kind of reverse engineering that to I hope you're able to see all that um, we're kind of reverse engineering all that to be able to make our own bracket that has that rod, a big thick rod and a plate that when you, I'll just pull this out so you can see. Don't know why I did that. See? that when you stick it in the container hole and it's not wanting to cooperate as far as orbiting that is bizarre uh, anyway you stick it in the hole and twist it and it will be in the proper uh, orientation it will lock in okay then your then you'll have hole this will have holes in it and your rafter your channel rafter will have holes in it and they'll bolt together and so we're just in the beginning stages of this and so I'm going to get some engineering help and um, but in order to do that I have to have like a scope of work 12 we're going to make our pitch a 3 and 12 I was close I eyeballed it 
right there. I'm just going to bring this down for, this, for the fun of it, just to know what I got in the corner. Things are not, there we go. That's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see that face close up because I'm going to, now I'm going to tilt this channel right there and that's my 312 pitch. And now I can get rid of all that. And I'm going to make I think we decided we're going to make these uh, channels plumb, and I'll do that in a minute. I want to get one. I need. I want to get my sort of parameters set up here. I want to come over here. Forgot how wide. I think this is thirty feet. Yeah. So fifteen feet is my center. And I need to kind of get, after I get this length figured out, I'm going to, I'm going to, um, that didn't hit on the corner, did it? Let's try, let's try to do that. I need to hit right there. What we're going to do is we're going to use the push-pull tool to bring this on up. I'm not sure why. Didn't want to cooperate. Now it's cooperating. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have to do some fancy clip in here well let's see maybe not I want to do too much fancy clipping well, that's what I get for not paying attention when I'm trying to draw cuz I got hmm I'm just going to start deleting stuff. If you're not going to cooperate, I'll show you. There we go. Now I'm going to have to go up here and read you all some lines because I got crazy with the deleting. Why does that not look like 9 degrees? I know it is. Is that not 9 degrees? Have I messed this up altogether? This is not starting off the way I wanted it to. I want this to be a peaceful. That's 90 degrees. Why is it? I guess it's because it's pitched. That's awkward. That's odd. So I'm going to delete that and that. And I'm going to come up here. Point. To O, come over here because I know how well. Why is that not closing now? Hmm. Hey, Sam. Hey, I'm just uh, coming back home for about an hour. I'm getting a break. Uh, I was just seeing if you fed Daisy and stuff. I did. I did feed her. Okay, did, uh, did you get a chance to look at the toilet? Uh-oh. 
No, I've been drawing, and then I got in doing okay. a making a video. That's so, cool. um, I'll I'll do I it. Might just be able to, I'll do I mean, it. Honestly, might need a new plunger, like because No, I'm a I'm a plunger scientist. I can figure it out. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> <Say so. laughs> All right. Well, I'm on uh, I'm on the S curves right now. So. Okay. All right. Yep. See see you. Uh, too many why is that why is this not closing I don't understand man just I don't understand sometimes I just let's just some of the simplest tasks sometimes now why is that now if I delete these lines uh huh you can kind of narrow this down to where what I should have done was I should have set up a uh, yeah this is this is making me mad I see what it is it's twisted I see I see I'll be it just a little bit Not sure how that even happened. And this, all this gaudy mess. Oh, wait, and see, I'm just having one of those days, man. That's right. And that's right. I can't answer that. Something is weird. This is just freaking me out. And I think I need to go back to when I was push pulling. Because if you can push pull something, then I think, yeah, I think this is where I, where I started screwing up right here. Because all this is good. You know, I can push pull. Let me go back to there. And what I need to do is set up like an interference, some interference in the, uh, in, in the uh, cyberspace. And why can't I get my, so I'm gonna go there. If I can get my, I tell you what, this is bizarre because um, uh, that that blue axis was supposed to go straight down. I think I know what's going on here. I think I know when you when you uh, I'm going to explode this. Make a group. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. I know what's going on here. When you make a group, sometimes the orientation, your your um, your axis, your axis changes. See how I'm having a hard time getting it to go to the green. Now, when I go to blue. Let me get rid of this and see if I can get my blue axis to go straight straight down. All right. And come out here. Come up. Now why is that doing that? Oh, I'm gonna have to delete this live stream, man. There we go. 
Jesus, finally. Intersect faces with con with selection. Okay. Now, if I intersect and all those worked, I should just be able to delete. You're kidding me. So there should be a line across there. Yeah, okay. Now we should just be able to delete everything else. This is bizarre. I have never run into this much trouble before. That is just bizarre. I don't know if it's because it was a weird shape or what. But that's a little trick I've used before. If I'm having trouble with my axis in a component, I will just um, you just explode it and then regroup it, and you'll find that you're it should be good. Now, what I need to do now is copy that because I want that I want that plumness <laughs> to be down here too. Cause he's, he wants to be able to put a gutter on this. Now let's see if I if I got that right. Take off that corner, that, that. Yeah. And that. And that little bugger right there. That little bugger. All right, that was cool. We got that fixed. Reverse faces. Now, finally, phew, so we have any comments of people saying, what is wrong with you? More containers, Tony. You need to rename your construction company. <laughs> Container construction. Those could be good jumping off point. I'll be curious to see how the offerings can... I know, I've already, I kind of told the owner that... Um, so, um, the economics of this are a little deceiving, okay? So, I, it is, it was cheaper, it's cheaper, and you'll see, if you look at the thumbnail, you'll see that I've laid out a site plan for this project. Okay, there's like, uh, 200 containers, right? If you do the math, it's, it would be cheaper in a typical situation just to build, that's 180, and then this gets mirrored. But the way the owner, the way the investor owner explains it to me, where he is in his, where this is being built, and, and the access that he has to containers and the site is a combination of a bunch of factors okay and that does that look right yeah okay so okay so there's a lot going on on this project that nobody knows it's all behind the scenes kind of stuff and otherwise if uh if somebody came to me and said, hey, Tony, build me a bunch of storage buildings, I would say, oh, I don't go out and pour a slab, you know, and uh, we'll just frame them up, steel frame, you know, metal studs. Or they even actually, you can even actually buy like package buildings for storage that are already, the system's already, you know, kind of done for you. And, uh, see, once I got my one rafter done, now we're cooking with gas. But, yeah, I mean, if that's what you're talking about, 
if you're talking about like feasibility type stuff, uh, David's a pretty sharp guy and he went through the, you know, he went through all that sort of, uh, feasibility stuff and determined at one, one point, just one simple point he made was that his site has a slope on it that typically wouldn't be, you know, conducive to, uh, storage complex. But what he can do on these is he can step these footings down a little at a time. Well, not on, you know, there's going to be a bunch of these uh, modules. He can step them down the hill and he doesn't have to worry about doing all that site work. And the, he can just have a gravel drive. And this is uh, one of those kind of deals. Yeah, night strikes always give me a hard time. But he's my friend, so I put I tolerate it. Now <laughs> so these these are heavier, these are gonna be heavier steel uh channels that um where did I size the I size these from here. This is your engineering toolbox that I go to a lot and I pick this size. Sometimes I just have to I'm looking at my modules of elasticity or moment of uh, inertia. And sometimes I just pick one I've worked with before and I know it will work just enough to get the job over to a structural engineer. So these are, um, these are this is a structural shape. When you see that web thickness like that where it's flanged out, the purlins will be more of a channel uh, since there's more of them and they're not carrying as much of a load, they will be more of a C channel. And I think I'm just going to show those literally as a, a C shape. And typically they will have like a, a two inch and then an eight inch and then a two inch flange. And you can give them some thickness if you want to. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bit bump, I'm going to make these 20 foot long to begin with, 20 feet. I'm going to go in here now and delete this side. I will have myself a C channel. I could give it some thickness just to probably make it look better. They would probably be they'll probably end up being you know, not quite an eighth of an inch thick, but we can we can show them that thick for just for the fun of it for now. Since since we're fun people, just to make it look like it's a real thing. And then, because I'm going to send this to a company called uh, Bedford. It's a, they make uh, fiberglass reinforced pultrusions. And I'm going to get them to look at this and see. Let's make that a C channel. This is one of our purlins. Make a group, make it a component, and we're going to call it purlin. And then these would be most of them are going to be uh, just this is going to be sitting, you know, kind of like this. I'm going to make that. I hate those faces when they get changed like that. This one's going to have to be special because. Uh, he wants it. He wants to be able to put a gutter on here. I gotta get rid of a purlin. Still not perfect, man. Got a line showing. He wants to be able to set this down, and this this would be notched like that. Let's see. But it would be flush. 
and I'm using my thickness or my width. That's eight. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that one would be kind of like that. And again, I'm just doing this for the benefit of the people who are going to help me engineer this. Because none of this is going to sit perfect in there. And then the rest of them, which I'm assuming would be about on two foot centers, would be They would be sitting at the angle. How do I get this back out? They would be sitting with the slope of the roof. Like that. Let's see how many we get if we go well we know we're going to go at least seven three four times seven see what that looks like that got me close didn't it anybody else making any weird comments there's a there's a richard how you doing richard my uk friend we ordered uh, we ordered some sample stuff for for shipping containers from from the UK, Richard. <clears throat> it's a, uh, a a locking system. Let's see. I'm gonna go up. I think what I'm gonna do is put this one. Let me delete this one. Now you know what I should have done. Did I make a? I made that. Yeah, I made that a component so I can still edit it. Oh, I thought I screwed up for a second. Let's go down. We'll, we'll put this down right here, and we'll pretend that that's perfect, but it's not. I can tell now because I didn't use the right. It won't be exactly at the end. What will happen is these will be these will be nipped out, and they'll have a, a a flange on the end of them. So I'll show you. Pull this back uh, six inches just for now, and then we would come back. How wide is this? Should have made myself a mark on there, shouldn't I? Why is that up against that? Oh, I had some creepage. Just saw that. going on there <clears throat> what it is I need to get this yeah this is gonna this is gonna touch the inside of that because I'll show you what it's gonna do in a minute when I get this straightened out Okay, yeah, I thought that's what happened. I had some had some creepage. So I'm just gonna pull this back for now. Uh, let's go back 12 inches and I can pull it back. So I'm just gonna, how wide is this? I'm gonna come back like two and an eighth. Cause this won't be, this won't be, Exact 
science here. I'll just clip this off. Like that. And then you would have a little flange. This is why I wanted to give it some thickness so this would look real. And this would come out like two inches. And then you'd have holes in it. You'd have bolt holes in that. You know, I just realized that I'm, I'm messing up my, uh, I guess I'm not really messing up my, I mean, I'm not messing that up. Uh, so that would go there and down here would be the same thing. It's not going away. I don't know. It's supposed to go away. <laughs> I'm trying to do this in a hurry, and every time I try to do something in a hurry, it always bites me in the butt. I always end up not doing something right if I get in a hurry. So what we plan on doing is having these, uh, I meant to pull that back an, an eighth because it would be that two inches minus the thickness. So this would go back an eighth too. Look at me, I'm trying to get too much detail when some engineer is going to change all this anyway. All right, so if I go back now, a foot should be right where I want to be. So see now, your the top and bottom flange is clipped out, but you got a this will have holes in it, and so it'll and this will be fabricated. This channel will be fabricated with holes, and I'll go back and put the holes in when I figure out where exactly these purlins are going. But now I want to pull this up here. I, want to, I see what's going on now. This is not up. Yeah, it is. Hmm, I'm going to look at Well, that's, that'd be like in real life. You wouldn't have that touching. But i got to be careful. Because I can use this point right there. Because what I'm going to do is copy this up here, and then I'm going to divide that by 7. Divide by 7, and that will copy me equally, see, equally divided purlins up there. Isn't that cool? And I have spanned these purlins 20 feet before, so I know that'll work. Let's see if we have any other... Good, just locked up the new hens for the night. I gotta get those hens locked up. They'll, they'll be running around on you. Getting us ate up by those foxes. Now that's my purlins. Now let's copy this. We'll make this a group. So it doesn't get out of hand on us. And they're liable to say I can get by with fewer purlins. Um, 
it just depends on what our roof loads, what kind of roof load we want. Did I make that a group? I didn't make that a group, did I? But it don't matter. I'm just gonna, I can mirror it minus one. And then I better group it though, because if I, if it gets away from me, I'll be able to get it in the right spot. I'm gonna try to bring That didn't feel right but it wanted to lock in it wanted to snap in place so I guess it's right that's one thing nice about uh, SketchUp it's intuitive like that if this is flush down here we know it's right oh yeah that's good so then we're probably gonna have another set of these we talked about this the owner and I talked about this because I'm kind of well shoot look at that oh that's okay I thought something was wrong with my turns the uh, we're probably going to go ahead and accept the fact that we have that we can brace this roof off by uh, having another uh, let me lock this axis and then get that in the center is that in the center Ooh. so we got our locking hub in there and yeah that looks fine so then we would have some kind of a piece of metal anybody got any broad ideas out there it just locked up the yeah we're gonna run a and we saw this on another system like this where we had a piece coming up and I think this is probably gonna have to be a piece of channel I don't know I don't think a flat bar yeah I think it's gonna have to be a piece of channel but it could be a let's just show it five let's see what do we have five inch channel on our I think we do yeah we do yeah we do we do we do and I can also use probably just cold rolled let's see probably use five by inch and a half Didn't something that was weird. Five, five, uh, one point five. There we go. And let's go ahead and make it just for the fun of it. I know it's not going to be eighth inch thick, but we will show it that way. just to give it some thickness. And this would be the only weird part here where we'll have to clip it. And 
this will be something that we're I'm just gonna show and then we'll engineer I'm gonna show this back the nice thing about this the way we got this set up is that this can slide back whatever it needs to be I don't know if they would do I would think that this would be either I'm gonna show it I'm gonna actually undo that because I think what I'm gonna do is show this where it's actually just under it that way Again, we're in the schematic design phase here. So all we're trying to do is show parts. I'm not a structural engineer, so I'm just showing the parts we want. And then we will let, because probably what's going to happen is we'll have, uh-oh, I lost my, Let's undo until we get our should have drawn a line all the way around and then hopefully then I can Oops, uh, I knew that didn't snap correctly. Now, let's see if we can get rid of all this. That's better, because I think what's going to happen is I'm going to have them put a tab this will have a its own flange however we can work it out that uh, we can bolt to the bottom of that and either that or you know it could lap over and you could have bolts going into it like that But I'm gonna make this a component. That way, if I change it, this I'm gonna call it riser. Uh, then, if we need to, change it, whatever I change it to, I can just change one of them. But part of this was the aesthetics of this. He wanted to, he liked the, the way it looked. So we'll just make it functional while we're, let's see, I want to go this way. Minus one. Yeah. That's the nice thing about When you mirror those components, they you can still you they they'll still edit, and they'll be they'll edit in the mirrored configuration, so it doesn't matter that I mirrored it. And I gotta get rid of those. guidelines they drive me nuts I 
Ganz schon mal. Hmm, what happened there? Oh, it's optical illusion again. But I want to get rid of that while I'm at it, that reverse face. I hate those. What happened there? Oh, already had one there. Go. And then we'll have some kind of collar tie. My original thought was to run the collar tie across here and connect those those things. Which might work. Might as well really. See if we have any comments. Comments. Run the world. Could maybe be L-shaped instead of channel. What? Which one be L-shaped instead of channel? The reason I'm using channel is because the channel is the most uh, commonly used uh, building, you know, as far as steel construction uh, for purlins. If you go look at any kind of pre-engineered metal building, you'll either see a Z-shaped purlin or a C-shaped purlin, but you never see an L-shaped purlin. The L shape doesn't have the same structural qualities as a C shape. You need that. You need those flanges. These flanges are what give it part of its structural strength. And then you can tell the difference between a cold rolled shape and a, uh, a hot formed shape. The structural, the more structural shape is on the ends. These rafters are carrying the load. Okay, these purlins are carrying what we consider a tributary load. They're only carrying, you know, that zone of the load. So they're lighter weight steel, but there's more of them. You know, there's 14 of these versus four of these other ones. So. It's all in the math. And I'm going to assume that I can use a the same channel for this. Again, we're not engineering this. We're, um, we're, we're schematizing this. Okay, we're, we're showing configuration and the engineers will say, okay, to do that, you got to do this. That's that's what happens in architecture. That's the process. The designers come up with the general idea based on the needs or the wants of the owner who's paying for it. And the engineers make it work. And after the engineer tells me what these are, I will go back and change my drawing. But we will also have his drawing. So there you go. Now I'm going to say that this piece, I'm going to say this piece needs to be a combination. I'm going to put it somewhere right there, but I'm not sure what I want to do with it yet. Usually the only time we use L shapes are like lentils, like, uh, and they will be extra heavy. So if, if you ever see anything that's an L shape, it'll always be a thicker metal than you think it's going to be. Uh, because it would have to be. And why is that sticking out? That's weird.
So over your garage door, if you or something like that, over a window, or any you know any kind of opening that's going to have brick above it, you would see a steel lintel, which is an L shape. And depending on the span that, and the amount of brick above, it would be engineered for that load. Get rid of my guidelines. I'm going to fix that per that. Uh, what was it? I was referring to the vertical element. Well, I mean, again. I think it, it's going to look better if it's a C shape because it's going to have, you know, when you're standing on the ground looking at it, it'll have a thickness on both sides like that. And uh, I'm trying to use commonly used uh, materials to, you know, components. I know that the C channel, you're already going to have C channel on the job and you know, it may be that the engineer just says, use one, use, you know, cut off one of these and stick it there. You know, I don't know. Again, we're not engineering this, we're uh, configuring it. It's a big difference. And I think what I'm going to do on this is show, I'm just going to show this. Coming to here, and I need that to why is that acting weird? That's that pitch I put on there. Oops. Go out 36 and we'll figure out. Oh, I see. I'm trying to get that. What in the world? Why is that not wanting to go? A line going down. Yeah, I should be able to delete all. Oopsie, all this stuff. Wow, that got cut short. There, I don't remember that. And for now, I'm just going to leave that alone. I'm not going to get too... I'm just going to tell my engineer I want a purlin or a collar tie. Across there. And it'll probably be sticking out. It'll probably be lapping over it. Like that. It'll, it'll probably be bolt. Oh, this goes. That's what I was trying to do, is bring this over. <clears throat> I 
So you need to have more bolt room. Get more bolts on it. And that wouldn't show up as uh, being that ugly, I don't think. <clears throat> what that's going to do is stop that action of the roof wanting to spread out. That a, did I make that a component? I should have. Yeah, I did. Good. That looks good. I think that's going to look good. See if anybody. Hello, Jennifer Bruce. Thank you all for watching. I'm going to. Where can I go get, I'm going to get some metal, metal roofing from another job here. Let's see, what was the, what is the job that I can get? <coughs> Gabe's home. Save, yes, please save it. And I know if I do Gabe's house, I can steal a piece of metal roofing. Right. Here, that's a cut piece. I can tell by looking at it. I want a whole piece. <clears throat> I'm just going to copy that one. That wrong button. No, I don't want to paste. <laughs> Flip it around. 80. Is that the same pitch? That'd be funny if it was. Now, I guess it's a little steeper. But we need to get it to the same pitch. So I'm going to get my protractor and make it the same pitch and I'm going to let it hang over uh, like an inch and a half and then we will bring it down to here <clears throat> and why did that not why why did it do that I thought I thought I had her thought I had her Go up here and do it. It's messing with me. Right there and right there. And I'm going to put myself a reference line. Did I get one? Yeah. I made this metal roofing because it's a lot easier to work with than a lot of those others. I guess I could have just done that, couldn't I? But I want to come down a little bit, probably about an inch. Give us a little ventilation at the top. And then I'm going to raise it up because one of the things SketchUp has a hard time with is seeing things below other things like that so what i do to kind of trick it is i raise the metal up about a quarter of an inch and get it off of that other surface and then yeah then it won't show through like that well it's still showing through in it 
a certain angle it does it depend sometimes it depends on what angle you're at but I'm going to raise it up a little bit more there we go let's go to the left let's go to that what side what did I do okay hmm I'll have to deal with that. I don't understand it. It usually will go away when I raise it up that much. But I'll have to. So 20 feet. Times six. Three times six is 18. So I'll have a cut piece over here. Make this one unique so the rest of them don't get cut. It looks like we'll be good if we just cut it right there. Which means I could have just deleted it right there. Actually, I think I'm going to come over a little bit. Because I think Yeah, I think I need to and I've got edge trim so I don't need to get perfectly at the edge I just need to be not hanging over so that it doesn't interfere with my uh, my edge, my roof trim. Which I can actually fix here in a second. I get rid of all these little lines I don't need. I can take this. It looks like it's fine though. I can take this and move it back like that where it's even okay then we can Have to figure out why this this particular drawing seems to be showing the rafters the purlins more through the roofing than normal if you get at just the right angle they start showing through but then they don't otherwise um, that's becoming really more and more annoying to me uh, and I it's got something to do with the graphics in SketchUp it's not a it's not a hardware problem it's a software problem because I've looked into it before how far is this over One inch, so this would be two inches. So that would go right there to be symmetrical. I should have got me some ridge trim. I just realized, oh, that's the back, yeah. These are. <laughs> So what he's going to do, he's going to group, he's going to group about 50 of these, this configuration to make a big storage uh, facility. <laughs> Y'all are awful quiet today, not much 
not many comments going on out there. Let me go back to that other job and I'm going to get some edge trim. That's the wrong button again. Let's see. I'm going to go to Gabe's house. Yes. And I'm going to get his, um, I'm going to steal his trim. Oh, uh, you know what? This is this is really too big for that job, so I'm gonna go back and just make some. It'll be fine. I can do it. I can whip it out in a hurry. What is that? really isn't that hard to make, so I don't know what I was fretting about. Why does that seem... So what you have to do is kind of, okay, this will go over and you can't let it touch again. You got to hold it out a little bit so it doesn't show through. And I forgot to add my inch and a half. So let's go up. Let's see, I want to make that a component first. reference line there and then let's see let's delete our guides and we can copy this that's one then we'll get it over here, put it there, and then we'll back it off like a quarter. That should take care of that. Oh, I see. This one, I gotta raise it up though. 
Hmm. it up. It'll be sitting up here like that. And then we'll have a piece of ridge trim that will come down at least four Four inches on either side. I was like, dude, hey, where's my where's my axis? We'll make that a group and then we'll fix these faces and then we'll raise that up. And if you don't, you gotta raise it up a quarter of an inch like that. And that's your ridge cap. Probably what I'll do when I start to do the drawings, let's see, all this stuff should be in the roof metal. This, did I make that group? I guess I didn't, I made a mistake. Did I select something wrong over here? Get my layer management going here. Let's see. We want this to be in metal roofing. Good, it's already turned off. And then these, we're gonna make us a new layer in the roof called Perlins. I don't think I have one. Nope, I don't. Let's see. What I was going to do though is make I was going to put all these in a perlin layer and then when I print my drawings, I can turn them off and they won't show through the uh, roofing. Berlins. Now let's turn the metal roofing back on. Where is it? Oh, look at that. That's the old. I got some old job stuff in here I need to go delete out. Oh, Jesus, what did I do? <laughs> Lord help me. What in the world? I have got a bunch of garbage in here. Lordy, Lordy. I'm older than 40. Now let's turn the metal roofing off and the purlins I meant to turn up just the purlins off where'd they go there they go now see when I print my drawings they won't show through that'll be a nice neat a nice neat look like that Remember to clean your file folders. I know. There's Adam Jr. 
That was Adam Jr. Uh, this, uh, that's the thing about file folders. You, they're, they help you organize, but they also help you collect more stuff, right? Because, you know, the old version of SketchUp didn't have these folders. You just had a bunch of, you literally just had a bunch of layers and you had, you were kind of wading through all of them like that. And now you can, you know, it's kind of nice uh, because you can turn off whole, since I can turn off the roof folder and that'll show me what's actually in. I haven't put these members in, uh, Oh look, there's a piece of roof trim that didn't make it in to the metal roofing. There we go. So I'll go back and decide where I want to put all this stuff. What do y'all think about that? I mean, we got to have this collar top here. We could, it could be, maybe the engineers will move it up, but I like it. I kind of like it associated with these risers here. Kind of gives it a look. Now what's going to happen is, probably crash my drawing, but there's going to be, if I group this, well I'll show you what's going to happen. Let's see. Yes. This is the site plan. You're gonna have, you know, 54 of these things. Just uh, for the fun of it, let's go back. What if I crash my drawing? I thought I would build these things in to kind of save some space. I'm just gonna, well, let me at least turn on the purlins. But I don't normally do this, but I'm going to do it just for you all. I'm going to copy that. Because these drawings can get too big. I'm going to go back to the site plan. Change. Uh, yes, I need to make sure I keep things changed. And then I'm going to see if I see if I don't crash this, this drawing. If I can put too much stuff in here. See, they're actually going to go. I need to make a group of these things first. I guess I got it all selected. Make a group. Then, uh, let's see, this will go. Did I miss it? There we go. See, then we got how many rows I gotta do? One, two, three, four, five. So I've got to copy this. Aha, uh -huh, wait a minute, I just discovered something. It turned around the wrong way. <laughs> Wouldn't be able to get into it, man. These block, these casting blocks I'm using are rounded, so they're kind of a pain in the butt. Because sometimes when I snap to an edge, I don't know if I'm actually snapping to an edge or not. And it's an, it is annoying. Now we're, now we got the fronts facing the right way. How many did I say? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, times five. See, and then you'll get. Uh oh, it's starting to starting to bog down. These containers are what do it because all of the little faces on them. Oops, that was not right.
Yeah, I can already start to tell that uh, normally what you would do, and I, you know, I wouldn't normally do this. I wouldn't put all this junk in one drawing. See, this site plan will just be a two-dimensional plan, so I would never put, you just show one of these buildings in the other drawing and call it typical. You see, I'm already starting to lose my, and it's for some reason, this is a newer computer, but I have less, I only have 16 gig of memory. I need to move 16 gigabyte. Hey, uh, I need to get Night Strike to do that for me. I need to get the other 16 gigabyte in here because uh, this is where it starts to show up. That dashed line around those was supposed to indicate like a roof. And see, then you would have Maybe it won't crash. Oh, oh, I know why it's doing that. That the roof isn't overhanging as much. But that's how it would be. So you drive in. And that's what you would see, all these containers. Like that. And I gotta figure out how to if you want really want to see a drawing crash, let me turn on the shadows first. Let me turn on I'm gonna save this first. <laughs> or do I wanna save it? I'm gonna save it as temp, because if it crashes I don't want to have to open it back up and it cra keep crashing on me. So if I want to go to here, I go to styles and in the model, do that and then do, oh, I need to fix that style. Edit so it shows profiles, profiles, profiles. There it is. Oh, that's not it. Profiles. Here we go. There we go. Update that. And then shadows. Ooh, I can feel a crash coming. Oh, she didn't crash on me. So let's see what time in July, in July at noon. That's not bad. He was, he was thinking about putting solar panels on these and it looks like, looks like it'd be fine even though these are not facing south. You get later in the day Like that, so I'm gonna turn that off. So I think pro probably what I'll end up doing is turning the purlins off because they're sh they still showing through. Why didn't I layer? Oh, there they are. Yeah, and then I'll. I have to kind of come up with a scheme on how to show these, <coughs> what kind of views, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, I just bought a new laptop myself. I need to upgrade to 16. See, I have 16 in this one now, but you can see even the problem, well, you see what? I just realized uh, SketchUp doesn't use all of the available it only uses a single core is what I've heard from everybody on Reddit and the SketchUp forums that for some reason it doesn't use, you know, 
a, even a fraction of what resources uh, you have. So that's the only reason I haven't upgraded. I've got 16 gig on this computer, but I've got 32 on my other one. I have a laptop just like this, except it has a uh, the G. It doesn't have a GTX. What was the NVIDIA cards before the RTX? Oh, it was GTX. And this one has the RTX series, I think 2080. So it is a little faster. You know, I'd never be able to whip these around like this uh, in the other one. But, you know, when you start, these shadows in SketchUp are based on real data, you know, sun data shading so so you can see how long it took just to render that and now you see the difference still not bad see what go back to noon yeah it's taking it a few seconds to re-render when i change the the sun angle problem might not be your RAM, it might be the SketchUp isn't 64 CPU architecture like it should. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's not multi-core. Yeah, which is ridiculous, you would think. Uh, you you would think. Uh, but I've, if you if you read, and you can research this too, um, Night Strike, uh, uh, I'll buy your lunch. And if you, you might confirm that it's not using all of your all of the available resources. Be sure that your laptop has enough ventilation. Well, unfortunately, laptops <clears throat> these laptops are only like a half inch thick, <laughs> so the fans are kind of wimpy in them. And yeah, I used to have a little stand for my old laptop that would raise it up off the desk a little bit, but I think the vents are on the side for these MSI. Uh, GTX 75s if you look up GTX 75 um, I think the, the vents are on the side anyway I am using SketchUp 2021 they were supposed to add multi-core support well okay so uh, I mean I'm on my old computer it is true uh, and it has a SketchUp 2019 on it. It is true that I wouldn't be able to have these. Let's see, do I have? Yeah, the shadows turned on. But see these, the thing in SketchUp is like these, these uh, containers have, let's turn a different style on so you can see. Let's turn this on. It has all these little, you know, these containers are drawn the way they are. They have all these little faces on like on the ribs, on the top of the containers, on the sides. And the more faces you add, the more, the, that's what bogs uh, SketchUp down are the faces, the number of faces. And uh, that looks like, let me go back to my shadows. And what is that noon? It doesn't look like noon, does it? Let's put it over. Let's put it in the morning here. There we go. I'm going to come up with a an angle because he's, he's going to He's going to do a proposal to this lady <clears throat> to build these things. Well, anyway, let me go back to my other drawing. And you can see, you know, this, I got one, well, I got some other containers in here, but not as many. Um, but if I go to that same style, that's a little more intense. That shows all the colors and everything. Uh, it's not bad. Let me turn on the turn on the shadows. Where I really see the issues is when I start trying to animate. 
things. Where are the shadows? Let's go to January or July. And we will go to, there we go. That's what time is that? That is seven in the morning. And we go around. So these buildings are basically facing east and west. East to west. So really, I mean, you, you might lose a little efficiency with solar panels on the west side, but you could get the, the pitch is low enough on these roofs where you could put them on this east side. Although the optimal uh, position for your solar panels would be to be facing south. I tried to get him to let me turn the roofs so they were facing the other direct, so they were facing south, but he wanted them facing this way. All right, I think I'm done for today. Unless I have a bunch of questions. Look at your resource manager while doing things in the end. Oh, I have. Uh, you quickly see if it's you. Yeah, yeah. I, the reason I know all this is because I did this project for a metal building company. Okay. This one right here. I did this animation. Uh, for Metal Pro Buildings, it's in Canada. So this, this, I did this for them. I did the animation, and they, their, their marketing department put the text on things. So when I was rendering this, which is where you really get into trouble with your resources, I was watching. This series, this uh, this little scene right here, took about three hours to end it, as far as just to render the animation. All these panels coming up here in just a second. This right here. But you should see. I wish I could. I wish I had the original uh, video because it was like you would have thought people were taking a break in between raising the panels. Next little section right here, this one right here, all the rest of these panels, they would come over like blunt, 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 blunt. <laughs> and when they were raised, they'd be going, e, 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 e. <laughs> but I finally got it smoothed out with the newer computer, the RTX 2080 did it. So, yeah, I had a little experience with the resource manager <laughs> and sketch up can you can can't hear you Tony over the oh shoot I forgot I forgot when I'm playing the that those videos like that the the desktop audio is I'm sorry about that why can't you do Tony cool stuff man Sketch 
zip file. They, they do all their work from that. But they'll size these channels and these purlins. And we'll have, the other thing we'll have is some X bracing under here, underneath. We'll have, you know, X bracing that goes on the bottom of these purlins. But, um, and then I'll brace it that way because believe it or not, metal, you know, this kind of metal steel and steel construction when it's bolted together it needs to be braced uh, more than you would think it, it, it does. And um, if you ever go into like a big warehouse, look up on the ceiling or on the walls and you'll see a bunch of X bracing all throughout the building. It's wind, basically wind bracing. Did I, did I not? Is it laggy? What do you mean eventually the music will stop? I turned it off, man. We're still on hold music, Tony. Are you, is it gone now? Sorry about that. I need to, one day I'll be as good as Night Strike and I'll remember stuff like turning the desktop audio off on my o OBS. <laughs> I know, now I didn't, I, 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 told, I put that music in there was it my? That's not my music. No, that's right. I had some of Barrett's music in there in the background, and they changed it. And uh, so that's that's not my music. That's the that's Middle Pro Buildings uh, advertising or marketing department's music. <clears throat> Great elevator. <laughs> I forgot. Here, I just want to hear it to make sure that. They didn't use Barrett's. Let me check it right quick. Because I forgot. I, I've kind of forgotten. Oh, that's the wrong. Oh, that's the wrong. Wrong button. Oh, yeah. That's uh, that's theirs. I like Barrett's better. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, anybody have any more questions? I uh, appreciate y'all coming by. It's certainly less boring to work when people are hanging out and and put, giving the input. But this is what he wanted, the metal roof system. And then he'll have a gutter. He'll put gutters. I'll have to show those. Um, let me turn these, turn these uh, shadows off. I can have more computing power. But uh, I'll put those gutters on. And I need to fix these channels so they don't, these purlins so they don't show through when I've got this angle. Because this is going to be the angle that I'm going to be looking at them. And my purlins are showing through the, these channels. But thankfully, I made them a, a let's turn this metal roofing off which one of these I want to I want to delete this metal roof trim I'm just going to delete it there now I'm going to back these up about let's try a quarter inch first and we'll see if that keeps them from showing through at that angle, eh? I have to. I don't want them to be too short when I show it to the the engineers. Uh, so I think I'm just going to leave it like that. All right. Thank you guys. Appreciate you coming by. I'm gonna set this up and send it to the owner and see what he thinks. Thank you.